maybe you're trying to up your skill set for your career or you just watch Bill Gates say. And so a computer program really uh, is a little bit of math and some if statements uh, where the decision gets made. And you just want to give programming a shot, maybe even just out of interest. The first language you choose to learn is crucial. And it isn't a particularly easy job to make that decision with so many different options available. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how exactly you can make that decision work in your favor. Several considerations come into play while making this decision, like the difficulty level you want to learn, the skills that you already possess that might align with the language you want to learn, and the reason why you are learning the programming language in the first place. Whether you want to develop a mobile application, make games, work with AI or machine learning, get a certification for your programming knowledge, or learn a new skill, you need to choose the right programming language to learn. If you're trying to build a skill with a particular domain to get into, we'll first discuss which programming language is most suited for which domain and in the end we'll talk about what path you can take if you just want to learn programming for fun just out of curiosity. The first programming language on our list is currently the most popular programming language on this planet, Python. Python is my personal favorite as this is one of the easiest if not the easiest language to learn because of its readability. It is so similar to English that if you have some basic knowledge about coding, you can understand a Python code without ever knowing the syntax of Python. It's also free, open source language and it has amazing GUI based desktop applications which make it really easy to interact with it. And props to being the most popular language on earth, you can get extensive support modules which will make your life a lot easier. And you'll also find a huge amount of guides and resources and tutorials along with a massive community of programmers on online forums like Stack Overflow. And it will make it really easy to work through problems or errors you face while you're working with Python. Python is also one of the most used language in implementation of fields of AI, machine learning and data science which are really hot topics these days. Python is used to build popular services like Blender, Inkspace, Abacus, YouTube, Quora, Pinterest, Instagram and so on. The only downside of this language in my opinion is that it focuses only on the implementation part completely ignoring the underlying working mechanism of the programs. It doesn't start with the underlying program basic mechanisms which goes on behind the program and that kind of knowledge can be really helpful in competitive programming. To overcome this, you can just easily learn the basics of C or C++ or Java before or after you learn the Python basics. Next on our list is Java. Java is one of the most common and in-demand programming languages in use today. The language with object-oriented structure has become a standard for making applications that can work regardless of platforms that is Mac, Windows, Android or iOS. Today there are more than 3 billion devices running applications that are built with Java. Java is widely used in web and application development as well as in big data. Java is also used in the backend of several popular websites including Google, Amazon, Twitter and YouTube. In my opinion, Java is one of the most complicated languages you can learn because of its complex syntax, but it has an equivalent trade-off in my opinion. And you'll need to learn some basic object-oriented structure as well, and it has a lot of new vocabulary to get in. I personally don't recommend starting with Java, but it's completely your choice if you think you have the prerequisites. Next on the list is another really popular language known as JavaScript. Just like a cat has nothing to do with a catfish, JavaScript has nothing to do with Java. I personally think JavaScript is a much easier language to learn compared to Java and JavaScript is also an object-oriented programming language mainly used to create interactive interfaces in web browsers. So in simple words alongside HTML and CSS, JavaScript is one of the three core technologies used in the world wide web. That is all the websites and web apps you see on your web browser and it is also used in the front end of several popular websites like Google, Wikipedia, YouTube, Facebook and Amazon. So overall JavaScript can potentially be your choice as your first language, I highly recommend. Now we'll be getting into the OG programming languages, first is C++. This is the most popular language in terms of competitive programming. If competitive programming is your sole purpose behind learning to code, I will blindly recommend C++. Don't get the wrong idea, you can do competitive programming in other languages as well like Java, C, Python, PHP and there's a lot of more stuff but none of them are as fast and as efficient as C++. The fact that C++ is faster than other popular languages like Python or JavaScript is not going to cause any work problem whatsoever in any other domain other than C++. Those microseconds will only make any difference in the fields of competitive programming. 
this is also an object oriented programming language and it is in some sense superior to C as C is not object oriented. Neither does C has the extensive amount of library functions as C++ which makes the user experience in using C++ a lot smoother as compared to C. This is a programming language developed by Apple for Linux and Mac applications. This is an open source language and it's pretty easy to learn. Swift is a language that's mostly used in iOS development, that is creating iOS apps. And if you don't have a Mac, it's really inconvenient to develop iOS apps. So if you don't own a Mac, just like me, you might want to leave Swift out of your list of languages just for now. And at the end, we have the grandfather language, C. This is probably the oldest commonly used programming language and it is the root of other programming languages such as C Sharp, Java or JavaScript. A part of the programmers will argue that learning C is essential for programming while others will say it's convenient to skip C and go straight to C++. And I personally prefer the second method, kinda because most colleges will train you in C anyway. I learned C in school curriculum and even at IIT Hyderabad almost all the first year students have to go through a programming course which is taught exclusively in C. Coding in C is trickier, it's not very beginner friendly but it does teach you all the basics and all the basic mechanisms of programming so if you're up for the challenge definitely go for C. So now you have an idea about which language will serve the best as your first if you already have a path or a domain in mind. Now let's talk about how to start if you just want to learn for fun or just for the sake of curiosity. There are two parts of learning a programming language, one being the syntax which is different for each language and the other is to think like a programmer, that is to figure out how to use the tools you have in your hand to solve a particular problem. The second part includes getting used to the different uses of loops, pointers, functions, different data types, classes, objects and so on and also where to use them. I think there are three different approaches to this. Number one, where you learn the basics of C or C++ first and then you go to a much higher level language like Python or JavaScript extensively. In this approach, you'll have a complete understanding of what goes on behind the quick fix shortcuts used in Python. Is it necessary? Maybe, but it's not mandatory at all. One problem you might face in this approach is that C is not the most beginner friendly language and it has a huge language barrier from our normal English. Thus making it a lot harder to learn to grasp as a beginner. To cope with this problem, I suggest the next approach. Number two, in this approach, we learn the basics of a language like Python or JavaScript first to get familiar with the programming logic and get used to how to solve a problem with the programming tools that we have. Then you go to C or C++ to understand the underlying basics. In this approach, you will first get used to the main concepts like data types, functions, loops, recursion, and etc. with a much easier context that will make the learning comparatively easier. After that, when you go to learn those things in C and C++, you'll understand the underlying mechanism that goes into really simple commands in Python or JavaScript. For example, to remove a particular element from a list in Python, this is the code. You only need the name of the list and the element you want to remove. Python doesn't show you how it is iterating through the whole list, comparing each element with the key you have provided and upon finding it, moving all the elements to its right by one index. And this process can be exactly understood from the C program with the same function. Now still there is another approach possible. If all you want to do is to build cool projects and amazing apps with your programming and don't give a damn about how anything is working, I recommend the third approach which can be completely ignoring C and C++ part, which is not that big of a problem if you are okay with being in the dark about the underlying mechanisms going on under the shorthand codes used in higher level programming languages like Python or JavaScript. I hope now you have a clear idea about the initial path of your programming journey. I hope you have made a decision about which language will be your first weapon of choice. Now you can set out on your programming adventure. Let me know in the comments below about your choice. In case you are confused about how to go about learning the programming language you just chose or if you are lacking motivation after starting the journey, I'll come up with another video about how to learn coding the right way and stay motivated through the difficult stages of the journey. That'll be it for me. Leave a like if you like the video, leave a dislike if you don't like it. And have a look around if you like the content on my channel, consider subscribing, it's absolutely free.